Let's distill the Retaliator base and the Retaliator bomber. The Retaliator base and the Retaliator bomber are the exact same ship. The bomber has two modules, a forward module and a rear module, that have torpedoes in them. Size 9 torpedoes to be exact. Four in the front, two in the back. You can interchange them as at will. The base can accept the torpedo modules if you can get them in game later. Right now, the base does not exist. There is a loner in the game of the Retaliator Bomber instead of the base. So it's a great value for your money right now. In the long term, you may need to think about an exit plan for the Retaliator base due to the fact that it does not come with any modules. It's a barren ship. But these modules are expected to be less than the cost of an entire other ship uh, for due to the way modules have gone in the past. At one point, they actually did have for sale with uh, real-world money in the store modules that included a forward dropship module that had unknown number of players could be dropped out of the bomb bay doors with all their military gear. They had forward and rear cargo compartments and living quarters, front and back. The living quarters may have some type of quest NPC transport element, but we're not quite sure yet. Both the base and the Retaliator Bomber can accept these modules and interchange them at will. However, it is expected that this would be at a, uh, at a port, not in the middle of space. So do bear that in mind. Size 9 torpedoes are nothing to sneeze at. And being able to have so much capacity to change at the moment's notice to it, a fast cargo runner, uh, become a dropship that people don't expect to be a dropship, or literally just deploy a payload of six size nine torpedoes is an excellent capability to have. Both ships would be a great addition to anyone's arsenal. This has been a distilled look at the Retaliator base and the Retaliator bomber. Thank you for your time.